so we are discussing about the tms configuration yesterday we have done that tms configuration so that is fine this is the one time configuration the tms configuration is the one time configuration so one time configuration means so at the time of at the time of new system builds so we will create that domain controller and uh, transport routes transport layers so this will be so we will create it so that is fine one time activity when the system is building but after that as a regular we will get the more transport request so regular we will get the more transport request to import into the respective systems okay so the systems which we are planning suppose like if you see here in our landscape we have the development system so we have the quality and also we have the production system also available here so i want i want to transfer some data from development to quality quality to so production i want to transfer the some data here sorry i want to develop some data directly I cannot go ahead and develop here first you what you have to do you need to use the development system then after that so quality quality assurance then production system so in the production system business users will log in they will do the business so one more important point is so when you are speak, when you are giving the interviews or when you are in the real time we have to do all the things like uh, development activities in the development system only dedicated development server quality dedicated we cannot do everything in the one system why because it will be clashed any customer small customer medium or anything any project so we have the dedicated system for each and every activity but basis team action is to build the all the systems development quality production and to create the connections rfc destinations all these things we have to perform that is our work actually that is our duties so here you have created the connections rfc destinations you created the prd as the domain controller okay that is fine so now what is the next one what is the next one we have to do that one so now so tr configuration is done now we have to discuss about the creation transport request creation creation of the transport request creation of the transport request so what is creation of the transport request now there is the next sub topic we are going to to discuss okay transport request creation so what is transport request in sap so the transport request normally all we will add all the objects all the ads objects into one request actually in the during the how we are moving the transport from here to here means we will create a one request that request we will move to the we will add that in that request we will add the our data then we will save it then we will release it then we will move to the quality and the production system this is a sequence okay so tr creation then after that okay adding the object adding the objects then once you done then tr release tr means transport request then after that tr import import into the target system target system got imported so our duty is tr import into the target system only so it's not our scope it's not our scope to creation of the tr adding the object why because who will do the development here developers so functionals they will do the adding the tr but sometimes we have to also create the for our configurations we have to create the transport request itself so for that purpose so we need to create the tr as well but mainly the functional development folks they will create the transport request they will create the transport request in the system so in this case how to create the transport request here so go to this is a sequence we have to follow you are unable to import the tr means first of all we should check tr is released or not so then as whether tr is created or not so this is a sequence we have to follow okay 
so we have the transaction ports se01 se09 se10 are the transaction ports t ports for tr creation like transport request creation request creation that is called the request creation these are the transaction ports we have to use for transport request so transport request is kind of one container transport request is collection of we can we can make the changes in the so we can add the objects into the in development system tr will be created in only in the development system only then we can move the the, the transport request to the quality quality to tr so each request so there is a Requ uh, data each request we have the multiple request we can create it multiple data are available the transport request naming convention what is the name open something is happening okay so the transport request naming convention is sid k9 9 means number k9 and uh, k9 means then number so number will be created this is the naming convention of the transport request suppose if you are creating in the nwd then nwd k9 number 00001 something like that number first number okay so the this is the tr transport request okay got it so e, that is the request will be created you no need to give the naming convention automatically system will take care of the naming convention but you we should aware of what is the naming convention okay fixed keyword k is the that is the keyword alphabet letter k we will use it so sc01 can i use the st no so it is k dedicated letter sap is taking care of se01 se09 or se10 we will use it for creation of the transport request here then we will release it then base system will import the target request okay how to create them so if you go to if you go to so sc01 suppose here what is our development system here so nwd nwd is our development system here then we have to move the our changes to the quality quality in means testing team testers they will do the testing here finally we will give the delivery to the here okay this is the navigation then development so here we need to log into the development system yes i logged into the development system here so here what i am doing here what i have to do here suppose example here we are using the ddic we should not use the ddic here here also we will create the one basis user we will create it here okay basis user we will create it here so why because uh, that user we should not use it ddic is only for few changes only in the triple zero and everything so not for the other changes that is the reason so we should not use ddic for the all other purposes So this is a user creation sap so user creation so this is part of the so our task list user creation user creation in the user creation we will discuss about the all these things so nwd there is no 100 client right so why we have put the 100 client here Just. so the client is not created inside of that one we have to create the client and put the number here okay so here nwd development right i logged into the development system now okay i logged into the development system here in the if you go to the se01 is the transaction code se01 is the so transaction code so okay here we have to create the request there is a option you can see create 
create option so when you are creating the request here we have the types of request you can see here there is a types of request okay so when you are creating the transport request here we have the types of request we have in the system types of request okay so what is mean by the types of request here so here so here the we can see the customization request means which request you are going to create which request so in the request we have which objects which request you are going to create if it is the customization objects on which means client specific objects which means as per the client settings these requests are automatically recorded for user when performing the customization request which means client specific you know right that word client specific means this request in the same system this request is only applicable within the system only only this client specific only not for other clients so not for other clients that is the customization request right so something called the workbench request okay workbench request means workbench request means it kind of so repository objects and also cross clients objects so we can make this 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 request is we can uh, move to the other target systems as well other target system as well so these objects are the workbench objects okay so this is the client specific which means dedicated to only one client dedicated to only one client so cross client means so with the same client or we can also move to the other clients as well so those data is called the repository as cross client specific settings cross client setting settings in scc4 if you go to the scc4 you will see the so you will see the client settings right if you go to the scc4 you can see here in scc4 we have so 100 client this is the client specific settings this is a cross client settings so client specific means only this client related settings so it's allowed so cross client means so not only this client whatever the clients we have in the system it is applicable for the all the clients it's applicable for the all the clients so that is called the cross client cross client means it's all the client okay that is called the workbench request that is called the workbench request all the clients it means repository and cross custom repository and the customization client okay cross client cross object changes cross object changes we can call it as the cross object changes so client specific means workbench request sorry customization request customization request means customization request means it kind of so it kind of only a client specific only client specific request client specific request okay transport of copies which we will use in the during the so system refresh procedure not now so these are the different different purpose we will use it relocation of the object without change with package change we have the one object we want to change the package name under the package so okay you ignore it this three why because normally we want to use this one so all this one we will use it during the so refresh time not now so normally development teams and functional team they will use the the first two options first one is the client specific and the second one is the cross client like that you can remember so we are moving to the other systems as well then workbench request you can select it click on the create button then it will ask the short description which means which which objects we want to move it something like that by seeing that naming convention we can simply remember by seeing the naming convention so simply we can remember the so what is it mean okay so like that we have to remember we have to remember the so just to put like a uh, table table like what is the table name t triple zero table table t triple zero moment to the production system production okay not the t triple zero maybe uh, table one table i want to move to production 
the table name is called the T D D L S table movement table movement. I want to move. So then just click on the save button. Just see on the save button. Target it automatically. It will take it. See here. Here request is generated. S I D K nine zero zero two. The main request is generated. And the sub task also created. The sub task also created here. Zero zero three sub task also. Each request there is a task will be created. Each this is the main request. There is a task will be created under the one main request. Multiple tasks we can create it. We means system will generate. It depends upon the your objects, right? So here yeah, what you have to do, you need to add the objects here. T R creation done. so you need to add the objects data you need to add it here so just this is a typical part actually the tr creation even though it's not in our scope but we should be aware of here so what you have to do you need to double click on the sub task go to the change mode here go to the change mode then you need to add the data here you need to add the data here okay either the main request this is unclassified means empty so that go to the main task here Just select the change button. Okay, here we need to provide the object name. Which object you want to move it? Here. So there is a syntax actually. R T T R and object name is the T A B U table. So what table you want to move it? What is the table? Suppose like I want to move the T B D L S table. I want to move to the so my production system. What is the entry? All the all the entries I want to move it. Like that I put the table name here. Okay, I put the table name here. Save it down. So I want to move that this object means this table from N W D to and quality then quality to so production. I want to move it to the here. So this is the syntax we need to follow. R three T R is common. So object suppose suppose you see number of objects here. We have the syntax actually. Suppose you are moving the methods you can use the method if you are using the repository program program you are moving then you can use this one so depends upon the depends upon the object we have to select the respective syntax you need to select it so r3 tr tabu means table we are moving right that is the reason i selected the ta tabu table so like that i selected it if you don't know so just just select the browser if you don't know also Regarding this process, you can ignore it. Why? Because it's not purely basis work. Okay, save it. Right, go back. See here. Here we have task is created under the main task. We have the task is created. These are the objects we are moving to the so table T B D L S. We are moving to the our quality system. Then T R creation is done. So first of all, check in that the T R in the T R are in that the table in the table are there any entries first of all. So <laughs> because we are moving the changes to the production, right? Check in the table. So we have any data in the table? T B D L S. That is the table name for the logical systems. So whatever the logical systems you create, so in the database level it will store. So check are there any data here in this table name? N W D. I think there are no entries here. See here, there are no entries here in the table name. So how this data will be moved? No right. So then we will create the data now. We will create the data. How to create the logical systems? Cell R B D fifty four B D fifty four. We have to use it for creation of the logical system. So we can we will create the data now. Like that, the functional development team they will create the data. Then they will move the changes to the Respective systems. So you do they you no need to create everything in the again the test system in the production system. If you create in one system, that will be moved to the that will be moved to the your test system and your production system as well. Your test system and the production system also it will be moved. So like that, see here I am going to create the so logical system entries here, so that those entries will be moved to the Your quality and the production system as well. You no need to create it. Why? Because you are creating the transport request. Then you are adding the objects. Then release. Then import. So here our work starts actually. This will be 
with the functional development teams but so if you know additional skills also that would be fine here creating the entry logical system suppose like here i will create the test okay so test one something logical system naming convention you have to put it but i am not putting the proper naming convention here test three okay test four so like that i creating the logical system okay so see here your request is creating here transport request that is not required so okay so i have created the table in this now but because if you see go to the sc16 if you type tbd ls check that the table entries number of entries five you have the table entries number of entries five okay so we have the logical system entries five so what we are doing in this logical system first we are moving to the test system before moving check in the test system are there any data in the tbd ls table tbd ls table i think nothing no one created anything right there is no nothing but after importing the transport request you will get the data so nothing is there see here there are no zero entries here nothing is there here which means we are good to transport so you can see here request you created now we want to release we want to release it so transport request you created then added the objects then tr release tr release we have to perform it and how to release the tr means so this is a transport request right this is a transport request which you created this is a transport request which you created here which you created here this is a transport request which you created 0 to tbd ls table moment so you want to release select this one just click on the release just release which means when it is releasing see here it will create the po files and data files in the database level release means exporting we are exporting the request here so here in the development system you created in the development system you created the data development system you created the data then when you release it the data will be released to the so os level file system that is called the trans directory so usr sap the trans under the trans we have the four files and data files four files and data files four files and data files okay release means export process releasing exporting they would to you are exporting co files and data files then after that we have to import it after that we have to import to the quality system then production system it kind of client export and import method okay transport is equal client export and import client transport is equal to export and import same so you have released it up to tr release is our so our owner transport owner responsibility is not our scope okay now we released now they will ask basis team to import the so transport request wwd k9002 they will ask basis i basis team could you please import the transport request into tst system so to import the transport request is our scope here so what we have to do to import the transport request from here onwards it's a very important guys okay you to import the transport request you have to go to the stms okay go to the stms select the system which system you want to import it in this case tst system then so refresh the refresh then click the transport request then import the tr import the tr this is the steps we need to follow like see here we need to log into the system then which system you want to import it test system right then log into the test system like hms is the transaction code okay so here go to the here here we need to click the nwd you created then which system you want to import it test then double click on the test system double click on the test system so it will check it will check the are there any request in the buffer or not it will cross check yes 
see we have the one request so table tbdls moment so we have to move the request to the here then in this case so select the request then click on the import button import the request see here you have the two trucks one is the semi loaded truck and full loaded truck don't pick the full load truck why because it will import the all the request normally it's not the recommended to import the all at a time one by one we have to perform it otherwise we go to the request click on the import so then which client you want to import it so suppose double zero one so select the double zero one so here you can see date start date and event suppose you want to immediate immediately or you want to immediate after the 30 minutes after the 40 minutes you want to select it so here execution normally we won't change it we will keep it like this only so we will we will we won't change these options and everything here see here execution means synchronous mode and asynchronous mode so asynchronous mode means the import is executed asynchronously which means dialog and batch process is released after the import was started synchronous means once one standard btc process will be hold until import is ended until import is completed then only it will release the one btc process so normally everyone they will choose the synchronous process so then options these are the tr import options you should aware of what are the options we have to import the transport request so you want to import the request again already the object is already there in the tst system you want to import the request again yes already data is there you want to override the data yes you want to override you want to ignore the transport type you want to ignore the invalid component versions means in the source you have the one component version the target you have the one component version both are not matching then tr may fail in this case what you need to do you need to select the ignore invalid component version which means the target when you are importing to the target system tst the target client 001 so even if the the components are not matching then you can select this one then here it won't fail then click on the ok button then just click on the ok yes then the tr will be imported into the tr will be imported into the, the target system see the truck is started here the import is running here the import is running here just if you click on the refresh button the refresh button so import is successfully finished so the truck is gone which means here we have the return code zero this is called the zero so how can we know what is the return code of the transport request return code means rc zero four eight twelve there are the four return codes zero and four are the imported zero means successfully imported four means successfully imported with warning so we can ignore it right if the eight comes means request failed with one or one or one or more objects are failed so 12 means so system having some severe issues so system has in given so transport request the written code is eight means so one or more one or two or one or two more objects are not imported properly okay you added only one table so that is imported so if you are sometimes the people will add the more and more objects into the one transport request in that more objects few will be imported few are not imported so the request will say like one or more objects are not imported so some due to some issues we check then the written code it will come eight 12 means it's all so 12 means the entire system having some issues so if the system having some issues means what issues we may face that we will check now so now what we did is we created the transport request and we released it now we are imported into the so test system quality system so we imported into the quality system we are we imported from the quality system imported we imported okay so we imported this is the import this is a export okay we imported this one now so we need to validate data right so we have ts this is nwd system so we have test system now right test system now go to sc16 check the logical system entries we have logical system entries received or not yes you can see here we have the data came to the here 
test test one test two test three test four we have the data is available here so how the data came to etst as well you created the data only nwd right you created the data only nwd development system then you moved the same data to here then you have data available in the quality system as well you have not developed any data here then here in the quality test system the functional will do the development functional functional or testers they will do the testing related activities so then once it is successful then they will ask basis team to they will ask basis team to import the transport request they will ask basis team to import the transport request that is what we have to perform it okay so now so what we did is so we created the transport request transport request means request means request contains the objects one or more objects so either client specific objects or cross client objects or repository objects whatever the object one object will be included into the transport request then we have to release that object that transport request we have to release it when you release it there the some co files and data files will be created when you release the transport request co files and data files will be released when you release the transport request so co files and data files will be released co files and data files will be released the co files so actually data will be released when you are doing the export what will happen client export two files will be created right we discussed during the client export and import process right so same as like here co files and data files will be created the data the transport request is split into the two files first the we are creating the transport request when we split it this creating the two types one is the k9 and r9 k9 is for the k9 and the number this for the co files co files control files data file this is the data actual data which is there in the r9 format r9 actual data in the r9 okay actual data in the r9 co files and data files co files and data files okay this is the way the system is so we are the data means request is splitting into the when you just click on the release release means export when you release it the transport request will release into the tr this is a request will release into the two files co files and data files the co files and data files are there at os level trans directory your request got released your request got generated then you are good to import into the transport request your request is not released then if you want to import you cannot import it why because the order without releasing the tr you cannot import it right first should be released by transport owner so who wants to create it that that owner should create the transport request okay so we should release it so k9 co files r9 means data files okay when suppose like this is a request you created then it's it create it split the file like k9000 one something like files let's see here created so when you go to the operating system level see here we go to the here you see the usr sap trans under the trans we have so bin all the configuration will be saved here buffer imported transport request now we imported the one transport request right so tst the transport request is stored here see here nwd k9002 we imported here so in the production we imported anything so that is the added to the buffer right so that is the added to the buffer co files k9000 to the file is generated r9 r9002 that is the data file right so that is the thing so we discussed about the bin buffer imported buffer imported to be imported transport requests are available in the buffer co file means control files it starts with the k9 here okay data file r9 here okay so eps etc log is the logs that i will explain it now okay so now see here we created the transport request fine we created the transport request we we released it we imported to the quality system 
now we want to import the same request to the production system right the quality you have imported you have validated data is available now we want to import the same request to the your production system then what if the, the then the developers they may ask you to please import the transport request 002 from into production system then in this case you need to go to the stms transaction code go to the here then select the which one you want to import the select the system which system ecp your request is not there then what next just refresh it why because we are not refreshed the queue just refresh the queue then the request come request will come to the here okay so it will come to the here see here the request is there here now we want to import to the production system right so before importing the production system check are there any entries in the in the tbdls table so tbd means logical system table this is a logical system table right so check here what are the entries we have here okay so here you can see here you have the 10 entries are there but you all are starts with the ecp ecp there is no test test one test two test three. that is what logical system naming conversion we created right so those entries we are moving to the production itself right so you can see here you have the 10 entries 10 entries you have here now i am importing into the transport request clicking on the transport truck symbol and 100 client i am importing and go to the options import the request again if you want to import the re this request already imported i want to import again then just you can click it override the originals if you have any override if you already the data is a test it will be override so like that i just selected this one just click on the normally every organization they will select the first three and the last two they will select it just remember that one okay connected now it is importing the transport request see here it is getting imported the tr is import is running now okay see the transport request is importing running now that is imported see here your written code is the zero or if you want to see the logs set the logs here so request is imported zero 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 which means transport request is successfully imported which means imported means the data also should be available here right these are 10 entries you select it you have the five entries so it's overrided it's overrided the existing data did you see my point here where i am going see here see here so in the development quality and the production we have the both entries are same both entries are same now sir what about the previously you have the 10 entries those 10 entries are gone those 10 entries are gone not there here so sir how you gone so it's a very valuable entry right? that is the reason when you are importing the transport request you need to carefully carefully import it why because now data is gone now data is gone while importing this transport request whatever the entries are there here all the data is gone now so when you go to the scc4 there are no logical system for any one of the client there are no logical systems there are no logical systems so nothing is there here nothing is there here logical systems why so because if you browse it also you won't get anything only test test one test two that is what we created there nothing is there now we will get the errors now see here now we are getting the errors so that is the reason when you are choosing the options carefully we need to select the options see here so we imported the transport request ecp to production while importing what we selected here we selected override override the originals means the table entries already there here the table entries already there so we have the number of 10 entries are there but in this request five entries are there so this five entries override on the the 10 entries so those 10 entries are deleted these five entries are available in the table okay multiple times we can import it why because you selected the import the request again right multiple times we can import it but if you import it fine that is fine that is fine good 
but what about the previous data that is gone so that is the reason while importing you need to carefully check it number of times we can import the same here that is fine number of times we can import that request these are the transport logs if it is got failed we need to worry if the transport request got failed we need to check why it got failed okay so this is the way of importing the transport request from one system to another system another system to another system okay so this is the way we have to import it only creation will give the trouble to you why because you are not familiar with the transport request creation right you cannot so that's the reason so what nothing is there we have to go to the se01 transport request once again click on the create button maybe choose the customization objects maybe example pr example one just to give the example one so here project if any project you need to select the project nothing is there you can empty target system will come automatically so just click on it then release that you thought object also you can release the transport request itself not a problem why because just empty now i release it the transport request see here 0006 when you release the transport request you will say that released if it is not released it will say that modifiable released or modifiable the tr status showing that modifiable means it's not released released means we can import into the respective target system so it is import it is released right then it's created the one more profiles and the data files without releasing here data file and profile got not created here you can see here profile and the data file got released here it's released here so which means so we can import the transport request into the test system as well it's empty system empty go to the stms select the trunk import over you then tst we have to import select the tst test system then import the request okay see here here 006 select this one click on the import select the which client you want to import we have only one one and then select it so which options you want to select so just if you don't want to select just click on the okay button it will import it so transport request is importing into the tst system 001 client okay okay it is getting imported so it is asking the password password so because something like configuration is not correct here that is the reason here is asking the password normally should not ask the password see here we got the error here one of one component does not match the version components are not matching that is the reason we are not able to import the transport request in this case go to the truck symbol import option ignore the invalid component so you have to choose the option select it click on the import button so depends upon the situation you need to import the the transport request depends upon the situation you need to import the the transport request you have to import it see here the test system we have import started now previously we got error now the import is started see here sir where can we find out the logs here so so what exactly happening here what exactly happening here in the back end so while importing so what are the why the why we have the configuration in place so configuration will tell from system where to move and where to import and uh, that will tell you but now what exactly happening with the system now while importing the transport request right while importing the transport request so what exactly happens in the back end one job one job is responsible to move the transport request into so quality and the production system what is the job name rdd impdp during the tr creation during the transport request during the configuration during the configuration we have one user to our up destinations one job rdd impdp job are created right those configurations are helping to to move your data from one system to another system this system to this system or will be helping to them that is the reason for data is moving to the development to quality quality to so production system got it is it okay till now any questions from till now any any confusion any questions from anyone 
that's the reason we have some more time to discuss about this one but i am not discussing the one more thing as well here but because tomorrow i will discuss why because it's a very confusing part this one tr import is very simple see here tr import is done select the transport request so select it import the transport request. this is our duty daily every day n number of transports we have to import it as a basis consultant we have to select the system we have to import it if the failed we have to take the action if zero four okay but the written code is four if that is fine eight means we need to check with the transport owner who is the owner basis so that is the person we have to inform to that person pass you your transport request is failed with rc8 please check like that we will send an email to them okay like that okay if it is a 12 it's a our issue only what is our issue if rc written code is 12 what things we have to check so we may get the request transport request is not getting imported transport request is not getting imported into the target system so you need to check the issues issues wise tomorrow i will tell you how to get check the issues troubleshooting everything tomorrow i will tell you but for now you just practice on how to create the transport request how to release it how to import it this one work we have to practice it so will you guys practice right any any questions first of all first of all before creating the transport any questions from anyone regarding the tms configuration you all are performing that is perfectly fine now tr creation so it's not part of our scope but even though you should learn about these things so just to go to the sc01 click on the tr maybe whatever the option workbench request cross client so then test one transport request i am creating here right transport request i created here then uh, go to the change button then test two i am creating here okay then uh, go to the test time test three three transport request i'm creating here three okay three i created here so each request it will generate the number here you can see each request it will generate the number each request will generate the number in the system see here so customization request so two request test two one 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 request is in the workbench request other two requests are in the here yeah. so modifiable status which means these are the not released if it is released means so you can see it will come to the this screen like that it will come to the here means released means ready to import so order you can see here released means so after that we have to import only so it's not released which means you have to release it that you can without releasing without this step we cannot skip this one we have we cannot import it right so first of all tr should be released so we are not releasing so i created the few of the transport request here test one two three what you have to do you need to import to the tst system and ecp system that is the work you have to do that one okay that is the work you have to do that one <laughs> so why we are creating only nwt not in the other system why because as part of the tms configuration what we chosen our source is here we have chosen nwd as nwd as our source system development system then we will move the data means suppose like tables data objects from nwt to this system from here to here finally we will give the delivery to the ecp system right same as like here as well like that we have created the transport request right so this is the way tms see here your configuration is wrong you need to reconfigure again root is not activated in the system what is that so the roots are not activated select this one go to the here then there is a something is not activated so triple zero client you have to perform this activation okay so configuration is inconsistency you need to fix that issue okay fix that issue and also move the this transport request we have created the transport request right move the does transport request to the up to ecp system okay so how the data will be move means you can add the data or not it's not our scope but only thing is how to import the transport request that is our scope 
that is what you have to practice it you have to import it okay so any questions from anyone is it understandable did you guys get my point here what what i told regarding the transport request creation tr release and tr import these three tasks i i explained today tr creation release not our part but here currently we don't have any developers so we have to create and we have to release it then we have to import it import is only our responsibility how to import means go to the respective system select the system uh, refresh the tr is not exist select the tr click on the import how can we know whether the tr is successfully import data is moved or not by seeing the written codes 04812 they may ask you questions what are the transport rcs transport written codes 04812 so what is 0 what is 4 what is 8 what is 12 they may ask you questions okay you have to answer okay import is fine everyone can do but the tr creation only thing so what is the transport request naming convention sid k9 number when you create the transport request when you release it the transport request will split into two files co files and the data files okay that is co file starts with the k9 data file starts with the data means whatever the data here you have the object that is exporting into the our file system level in the trans directory then after that we are importing to the here the respective target systems we are importing respective target systems we are importing to the respective target system here right that is called the import process okay this is called the import Okay, so any questions from anyone?